It is last December 5th, just after midnight, when young men get into an altercation and Fort Lauderdale police are called in. It is inside the lobby of this building, next to the nightlife of Riverfront. Joshua Ortiz is not seen fighting. He is in the elevator with his girlfriend, waiting for his friends to join him when he is confronted by police. We just want to go home. What's your problem? And he's like, oh, yeah, you think I got a problem? And he gets very close to my face, like I'd say about here, and then pushes me into the corner of the elevator. And mind you, the whole time, my hands are in my pocket, in my jacket pocket. The whole time when I was talking to them, when they proceeded to attack me, the whole time. It's very easy for one to make a determination when they weren't present there. Uh, the totality of that video isn't shown there. Fort Lauderdale police say the Internal Affairs Department has more of the video and the department insists we are not getting the whole story. You can clearly see Mr. Ortiz make a movement towards the officers. And you, their response is justified then? The, I, the I, shove, not, the punch? I won't sit here personally and say if the officer's response justified, that's why we have the procedures that we have here. Internal Affairs has deemed it to be appropriate at this point. Joshua suffered a broken nose, and after being handcuffed on the lobby floor, he was charged with five counts of aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer. But the state attorney is dropping the charges.